Hey guys, I'm David with Yellow Hammer Woodcrafts. Thanks for watching the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how I took this scrap piece of cedar and turned it into this beautiful wood spinner. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I built it. All right, you wanna start out with cutting your scrap piece on a table saw. This is a three quarter inch thick board and I'm cutting it into quarter inch strips. You see me uh, cleaning the table saw top with some Johnson's Paste Wax. This stuff is great uh, to make the board slide smoother across the top. So every once in a while, I'll put some of this on there. And as you can see, the board slides smoothly across the table, especially using one of these grippers. The grippers work great for uh, cutting small strips like this. Now you want to take your strips and set up a spacer block like this and cut them at seven and a quarter inches. Anytime you're making repeated cuts like this with a chop saw, it's best to set up a spacer block so that you don't have to keep measuring. This is a quick way to cut a lot of pieces at once. All right, now that we have 65 of these strips cut, we're gonna move over to the drill press and drill the holes in the center. And the way you do this is you make uh, yourself a jig and that way when you put these on here, uh, the drill press will drill directly through the center of every strip. And the way I do this, I just stack about four or five of these together, put them up against the jig, make sure they're all lined up and start drilling. That's all there is to it. And I'm stacking up five pieces at a time. This was the most I felt comfortable drilling at once. All right, now that you have your holes drilled, all you do is take a 36 inch long quarter inch threaded rod, put a quarter inch nut on the end to keep the strips from falling off. And then you just slide each strip on one at a time. All right, now that you have everything together, you wanna to move back over to the table saw and cut off the edges to make it exactly seven inches. And this just uh, gets the edges smooth and straight and even with each other. So you set your table saw up like I'm doing now, a little over seven, just enough to trim off the edges of the first uh, side. And then you flip it over on the other side and trim the edges of the next side. This next step is what gives it its design and gives it its flare out in the middle. So the way I do this is, these are seven inches. So I come in two inches on each side, like so, make a mark. And then you wanna find your center. This whole thing is 17 and a quarter. So what's half of 17 and a quarter? Eight and a half is 17. Eight and five eighths. Now, set your straight edge on the mark you made at two and the mark you made at center. Draw a line. We're going to remove all of this. Now for the fun part. We get to twist it up. And the way I do it, I want to loosen this enough so that these will turn but still be hard like pressed in. So what you want to do 
is turn the back corner to the next front corner and then keep going around like that until all the corners meet. I hope you see what I'm talking about there. So here it is all finished guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you're going to build one of these, let me know in the comments. Hey, this is a great project for kids. If you have kids, get them out in the shop and let them help you build one of these. And then let them sell it at a craft show or sell it on Etsy. These sell for about uh, 40 to $50 for the smaller ones, all the way up to $100 for the larger ones. So, you, you know, you can make a good profit on these with just scrap wood. And if you enjoyed this build video, I have a whole playlist up here for you. Go check those out and we'll see you next time.